what is up everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to play kha'zix jungle like the very best like in nori and for starters kha'zix jungle extremely strong jungler if you know how to play him full lethality assassin player play style really important to understand that second matchups that are hard champions that are pretty beefy like udir can be difficult generally when the enemy team has really good early game comps or a lot of crowd control that's really bad for the kha'zix but in this game you really want squishy targets that you can sort of isolate and be able to get targets down. So what I like to do is I start either a red or a blue. Honestly, I play for full clear most of the time. Depending on the game, though, there are some level three gank angles. Kha'Zix is extremely important to know your isolation is pretty much everything on this champion. If they're isolated, they're dead. If they're not isolated, you're probably dead. So play around that. Some people, you know, think Azix, you know, he can do a lot early game, but really you're kind of like an ulti champion, so you rely heavily on the ulti, and for runes, first strike is what I prefer to go. Here, I'm going to save my smite because I actually got pretty good leash, so from there, we're just going to keep autoing and moving backwards as we kite. And uh, for itemization, Ghostblade into Opportunity just seems to be by far the best itemization. So that's what we're going to be doing. Usually third item Grudge or Edge of Night is what I go to. I think Edge of Night or Grudge is more important to get. But if you really need Edge of Night that early, you can go for it. That's usually how I build on Kha'Zix. And when you play him, it's really important to know your comboing. You can cast Q while you use your... You can cast your Q while you're traveling with your E to cancel the animation. So that's a very important thing that I'm going to be talking a lot about as we jungle. Here, I really want to kill this rat champion before he hits three. So I talk about full clearing, but this game we actually go for a level three play. <laughs> Beautiful award, my man. We have to go now, though. Why do I flash like that? The reason is really simple. No dash, no mobility. We flash on that. Katarina, I thought she'd pounce on that really quick. But Smolder's mistake is my advantage. My advantage is my opportunity you must <laughs> take your opportunity whenever you see it and here we go farming see this level three gank in general really doesn't hurt us there are sometimes where the other jungler like an udir he may full clear and then invade me because he knows you know, potentially my clear speed is going to be much slower we should expect him not to be able to do that until he finishes his jungle which usually will take around now is when he might be done full clearing so he usually finishes he'll probably walk this way so i have enough time to do Possibly this and Gromp, and then sort of, you know, look to see if he's in this area. So here I'm going to smite the Q. Because we're 4, we match the level 4, which is really important. Here I should have maybe hit that plant to reveal. If he's not showing here what actually matters means is he's probably topside, so he cleared up. This pretty much tells you what the jungler path is, right? If you don't know... Oh, dude, is the Udyr here or is he here? If he's not... Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Take back everything I just said. Udyr is actually here. Trading like that is really good. First strike is money. Money is money is money. Here I'm gonna just kind of wait for Janna to come with me if we want to. Another wars. So I'm just gonna base, honestly. He might have went top crab and came down, so it's a bit awkward for him. Now, usually though, what I'm saying is it usually it's it what it means is what it means. And we have future markets, so we can always go in debt, but you have to understand when it's good to go in debt, when it's bad. There, if you can wait 20 to 30 gold, it's good. If you can go in debt early and for a sword, it's honestly not that bad. I would do it. But you're not going to have that much money, right? You have 124 limits. That's not honestly that much. It usually just helps you get to your sort of like item spikes faster. So what we're going for is the Dirk buy. We're going Ghost Blade first into Opportunity. This combo of items is pretty much why I think Kha'Zix is even relevant right now. I think he's actually weak, but because he's so strong with this two item spike this one into this one that i think he's actually you know like relevant if you play kha'zix if you don't build like this then please i i, I really think you need to you need to build like this please blah, blah, blah. and see your boots is the go-to sometimes merc treads but never tabbies honestly so here void grubs are up five minutes timer he's on it and you know I, I don't want him to be on it so i'm just gonna come and see what he's up to here i kind of want to smite one and kill but like, ah, dude, what are the Void Grubs even doing sometimes? So once it resets, kill one. Oh, we're able to get it. Here, jump in, get the Q auto. I mean, he's griefing. 
he he honestly he could have got that too that was close void rubs are so stupid they're ai bro i am honestly sick of it but here yeah this is good void i mean i have a huge buy he has literally he's going the andrews rush which is not bad but like usually you want you know you don't you don't force objectives when you're weak right he forced the objective because he probably gets away with that but generally but i was able to punish him because i'm a genius and also i would i don't let people like get three objectives if i was going to give up void grabs what does anori do i always play to do dragon i would have been ready to do dragon asap if my game plan was not to do void grabs so here i'm really strong i just want to think can i go behind bot and gank that's a possibility can i check his raptors he's here again okay it is no flash, so I do want to fight. So I think fighting here is good. He can only really fly like that once. I did my damage. And that was enough for Katarina to finish them off. So that's actually really good for us, honestly. Not bad. If you ever wondering how much close you are to your item, you can always ping it and it'll tell you if you're close enough. So here, we're not actually that close. But we're close enough to where we can wait. Honestly, I don't think it's bad to wait for Ghost Blade because if I wait, I'm going to have it. And then if I have it, I'm going to move faster. So I'm going to end up being faster, right? So if I wait, it seems like I'm griefing, but honestly, it's not that bad. 45 gold is really not that bad to wait for. And this is where like going into debt really game impacts your game in a good way. There are... I honestly thought we were going to kill Smolder really fast, but Katarina, like, didn't have her dash ready. But it's fine. It happens, right? Like, things happen. Things happen. And here, because we have a Ghost Blade, we could possibly even run down here and fight. A lot of times, it's honestly more about just being ready to fight than it is about, you know, like... I could have flashed on her, but... What I'm doing is kind of crazy, but I just think I can one-shot her in a second here. I have flash. So I can flash out. He also doesn't have flash. He has a ghost, so we can always play around that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know Udyr is pretty predictable, right? If he needs to go in, he goes in in a very predictable way, so I, I understand that. And I'm able to absorb that little bits of damage that he could possibly use on me. But here with Q Evolution, I'm actually quite happy. I do want to start Dragon, but I think doing Dragon might be a bit greedy. Because I don't exactly know. Like, without AD carry, the enemy bot lane could rotate, so I don't want to... I don't want to gamble. So here we got our R, and we go Q Evolution every time. Very OP. Honestly, I was able to impact the map without R, which was, in my opinion, quite lucky. Usually, you do want to play around your R. You don't actually think I could just straight up win a 1v1. The power of R, right? Oh, dude, I'm so sad. Janna, you could have just flash autoed him earlier. But it's okay, it happens. My team... Very scared of the 1HP Udyr, but it happens, it happens, guys. So how do I want to play the map fear? Void Grubs are spawning. I think Void Grubs could be a juicy fight. So we're going to play around the Void Grub fight. So we're going to do red and possibly gank top. Without R, it's quite tricky to gank top. So we have to think about that. But we will still play the map and think about how we want to do the Void Grubs. You see, like, if this guy isn't, like, rushing Sunfire, you pretty much nuke him. Anyone who doesn't, like, rush that armor item is extremely weak. But once you get the Ghost Play, you do have to kind of play, like, Lunatic. Like, what I'm doing is, like, running around the map a lot. Here, I'm not sure if she's here, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, you just have to kind of play around like this kind of style, like going on people like this. You just have to. I don't make the rules, I just sort of enforce them all. So here, Udyr should be here. We can maybe kill. I have W damage. Oh, bro, it's so sad. Go, Garen. I mean, it all worked out in the end. I mean, I'm surprised they're all living there. Like they have, they're paying rent for that mid side brush. Like it's the fuck. Uh, it's just it happens though. Honestly, getting the fight going is happy enough for me. I do what the fight does. If I had R up, extremely good. Kazix, he's really like his his potential is completely tied around R and vision, right? Like if I can 
surprise people from out of fog for example it's really good coming from angles they can't see knowing where wards are extremely good playing around fog of war these are like very crucial important things you should think about and playing around your aura cooldown invisibility is extremely extremely broken so here we're just going to start dragon we need dragon stacks you have to play where you know Kazakh's extremely good at doing these sort of solo camps so it's very good So I like to do them. Here I think invading is fine. I think Udyr might be on the red right now. So I'm just going to peek camps. Raptors are up. That means he's actually somewhere here. Here I think we can one-shot her. I'm going to R to block. Sort of. I mean, I'm going to deliver that right to the Katarina, which is nice for her. Because Udyr hasn't shown and looked like he was on the grubs. So what I think we should be doing is diving. I don't know why John is basing. Like she's basing for like a like Louis Vuitton bag. Like what's going on? Without Vayne. Vayne, I think me and Vayne can dive solo. So I think we can dive. It's a very simple dive. The reason why I think it's so safe and free is because exactly the condemn into the wall. What choice does the Kaiba have? And even though they're not isolated, she's not isolated in that situation, I still think it's like, you know, it's extremely easy for us to do that kind of play. But here I'm looking like the map state for me is looking a little starved. Like I don't really have many jungle camps. Getting the, the that that kill for Vayne, extremely good for the game state. Doing a wolf camp. All my camp cycles are really awkward. So I have to like think about how I want to clear right now. I think our Grump spawns first, if I remember correctly. But... Yeah, there's not much going on in this map state. Best we can do is set up like picks right now. Maybe Udyr. Possible Udyr kill. Something like that. Raptors are still up. So he eventually is going to be coming here. So what I think is happening is Udyr will come here. I don't think he's here. So I think killing him here is actually really good. He's very squishy. The AP build, you know, it's, it's extremely strong. Don't get me wrong. But makes you extremely squishy too. So it's a trade-off. And sending him picks like that, I, like this Janna probably would not have set up a pick like that without like me pinging and stuff like that. But, you know, you just have to set the initiative. Here, I'm going to set up a pick on Kaiza. I think he's really good. So if I'm going to go on Kaiza, I'm going to go on her. Very simple. We jump in and once we get on top of her, we should, can't really like ult the out. So that's a really good angle for us. Once you get on top of them, it's just happy-go-lucky, you know. Here I do crab, finish crab, look mid. Mid is probably not easy for me to kill, so I'm just going to not go. I don't have R, I don't have flash. I think if I fight there, I could die. I really think about my spells when I think about if I want to fight, right? If I had all everything up, maybe I would look at that fight differently. If it was like different champions, but you really have to think about what you have up and what you can offer. And whether what you can offer is good into what they have, right? Me going into that against a Leona and a Cassiopeia tanky high CC champions, literally full health. Not good, right? Not good at all. And why I talk about this is because you, I'm, th I'm teaching you like my brain, like my the way I look at things, right? And if you understand and listen to them and you start to build these kind of habits around your decision making, it's very good for your game. Sure, you might not have the same mechanics as me, right? Happens. It all it all happens. Like, no big deal. But it's important. The best you can do is start to learn my decisions. This is decisions I really make. Also, why are you taking my Krugs, Garen? It just... It's never good to take your jungle camps. Your jungler's camps. It's not even that efficient. Here's a good time. I'm super fast. Ghostblade is up. So here we just want to go. I'm going to R to juke that. And then jump in to finish the kill. Use my vision. You see how... You saw what I did there too, by the way. I R right before. Like, I'm in vision of her, right? Because you need that surprise factor, right? If I just run at her and she sees me, she's going to react really fast. But if I R on top of them, right before their, their vision radius, and then I get the surprise factor, which, you know sort of freaks them out and then they kind of mess up or they're surprised gives them less time to react and decide what they want to do if i just show right away without using r first they just they start to make they make better decisions because they're not surprised by it 
When you play Kha'Zix, it's the sh really the surprise shock factor. Here I check these camps before I decide and I'm going to base. So. Here I go, Brutalizer and Whisper. Honestly, I probably... I don't know. I probably just go Brutalizer. I have enough for it. I mean, it's early still and the armor of the champions aren't that high. Even though I'm still going to finish Grug, I just think if you have a full Brutalizer base like this, I'm going to have a good cash off. And I'm level 11, huge, huge thing. So here, what I like to say, if they have ways to reveal you, don't go R Evolve. W Evolve is generally the best. In this game, I'm going W because Kaiser reveals me. So, and they have a lot of like, you know, sort of like, not the best for my R Evolution game. But R Evolution can be really OP if they have no like reveals on vision. And if you play, if you want to play for long fights, right? If I feel scared in fights, like I feel like, okay, they might be able to do something. Like they could do something against me, then I I, I start to worry about that, then yeah. You know, I change the way I approach situations. But this spike right here is extremely broken. And the CDR boots also very important for the whole situation. Here we have the jungle pet completed. So I'm gonna go and kill the smolder with Garen. And the speed we do, so always like this example here, I probably use the brush, ghost blade, try to attack him with my W and then R on to get as close as possible. Q, auto attack, Q, kite back a bit, auto Q. Surprisingly, he did a lot of damage, but not enough to kill me. Kha'Zix is squishy, so respect the thought. This could be a danger brush. I don't know if Udyr is in there. I don't know if there's someone else. And he actually was in there, you see? So you have to respect that once you show on, like, a lane ganking them, you have to think about it like this. Like, there people will try to kill you after. Like, like it's a danger brush. Like, once you show, like, you're there... And the people on the map are missing. Respect the brushes. There might be people there. You know, respect. Show some respect for the brush. And they, Udyr was literally in that brush. So me making a decision to walk away was very good, right? No reason for me to die there. All I have to do is move it slightly differently. So here, I want to help Bane. So I'm going to wait and see if Kaiser ours. And then go. Go on Leona first. Hit them both with my slow. Very good. I could try to like flash in, but I don't think I need to. I'll eventually kill her too. It's not like a super priority for me to be killing her right now. And also I think I can Herald. I think I can drift this bad girl in. No, I probably can. Don't really want to rush in, but I will drop my Herald now and go. I'm not, I just don't want to commit yet. Oh baby, she's a hard one to handle. It's a hard one down here. I'm gonna hit him and the Herald to go split, go and then start to go in. W slow and then back out, kite as much as you can. I believe this was my Shelly. I'm waiting. My condition's terrible. No reason for me to even entertain the idea that I could possibly go in here. It's not happening. Let me just leave and respect that I'm too low and start taking jungle. Listen, if your conditions are bad, you have no HP, literally nothing, then just respect it and leave. You can always heal up on jungle camps too. And you can get more mana once you go back to the jungle. If your mana is low, just walk back into the river or jungle and you're just going to gain it all back. So that's good. Here also when you kill a jungle camp, it also gives you health and mana back. So very good. Here we're going to base and we should be good to go. I have so much money, I don't really care about that situation. And itemizations, I mean, Propane Hydra. The problem with Propane Hydra on Kha'Zix is he doesn't auto as much as you would want. And also it's expensive. I love that item, but sometimes it's just not meant to be on your champion. Here I usually just go Edge Knight at this point. And the final item is usually a flexible item. So when there's a flexible item... It usually can be like the GA, which generally ends up being GA, but also could be an MR item like Maw. If I'm against like a heavier AP comp, I can go Maw. And if you really want Maw and GA or something like that, you can always sell one of your Lethality items as well. Personally, I think Edge and Knight's kind of important to have, so I'm not going to sell Edge. If anything, I would sell like maybe Ghost Blade or Opportunity. Later in the game, it would probably be this or this one. I think this one, I think this opportunity scales better than Ghostblade. So I'd probably sell Ghostblade and have G and Maw. They are cheap items, right? So it's not that bad. 
So here we're in a good position where we can do Baron. So we do want to do Baron. So here. Kazakh's extremely good at doing Baron. Not good at tanking Baron, but very fast at doing it. 700 damage Qs is quite nice, right? So if you're not good at tanking it, you don't want to be doing it without like melee champions, right? Dragons coming up in 20 seconds. They're actually very... Even though the game is stompy, the enemy team is very... Uh, full of energy, surprisingly. Like this Uber thinks he's somehow going to get this third dragon, which I think is absolutely absurd, but you know. Here they go. Damn, I got knocked away. Use the brushes for the jungle, you know, movement speed. First thing, I'm still kind of on the hunt, right? So I'm going to look for a flank angle. This flank angle is nice, but I want to war jump in. And see what's going on here. Oh, I died. You see, I wasn't going to blindly jump in because I felt like there could be more people in that brush. So I waited and then... You know, if they were isolated, I would have survived, but literally everyone died. I'm the only one who died on my team because I had to go in. I'm the easiest one to focus down. This is the thing about Kha'Zix is he's, you know, sometimes you might have to die for the cause, but I do think the grudge third is still extremely good. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having to die for the team. I think sometimes you need to be the one jumping in. You need to be okay with death as a bug. Your, your lifespan is so short as a bug in the wilderness. You need to be okay with it. Live it to the fullest. Try to play as much power and aggression as you can. Learn the champion. And the W2, the mechanic, you can kind of buffer your W when you jump. So what you do is you just E and then W, just spam W, and it actually shoots it a bit early. So I'll show you, like, boom. You see, you can kind of buffer it. That's a good combo. So use E and W when you're using that combo. You can also, remember, cast Q with your E. And that's important one. You can also W flash, which I think it's a very powerful tool that I might use. The thing about Kha'Zix is he's extremely hard at... Sort of like closing the game out, in my opinion. Like, I'm not going to be able to sort of like siege towers, right? That's a weakness. I think it's hard to win games when your champion can't do, you know? That kind of stuff. I'm gonna flash out. I did my damage. I play off isolation. I really play off isolation. It's a very important thing. And I really respect that. Like I could e easily like instantly die if I don't play around. Your invisibility is your survivability. Play around it as well as important. Your R is not up. Honestly, your champions kind of sucks. So unless someone CCs it for you, it's not gonna go good. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys subscribe. Like the video as well. Be sure to let me know what you think. I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos. Good luck in your games. Good luck on the climb. And yeah, remember everything I told you.